Sister Ohiyonzo J. Akpatasin, MNI. I represent the great people of Akoko Edo Federal Constituency. I am from the great Edo State. The state where great men like Anthony Nahuru, the mover of our nation's independence, hail from. The same state where you have great men like Pa Imodu, a great labor activist. The state where you have Comrade Adams Oshomole, a great achiever both in labor activism and in politics. A state where you have the great Mr. Fixit, Anthony Aneni, of great political strides. That is the state where I come from, Mr. Speaker. I feel so psychologically traumatized today that I am from the state where this kind of brigandage is taking place. A state that seems to have been taken over by political rascality. I come from a local government that is under siege at the moment. And this is a very terrible trend and very worrisome to me. I am concerned that if this situation continues like this, we are going to strike into a situation of very serious constitutional crisis. I thought that state governors and their teams should borrow a leave from the democratic credentials of our president and the practices that he cherished so much, particularly the manner in which Mr. President issued the proclamation at federal level and the clerk of the House as well as clerk of Senate did what they ought to do in the broad daylight. During the hours of the day, a time at which legislative work is meant to take place, not a nocturnal kind of activity, the kind that happened in a new state. Mr. Speaker, I'm worried because I'm a member of the great or progressive Congress. And the 24 members you are talking about in Edo State, they are all APC members. I'm ashamed of the kind of example that is coming from my state. We are nine out of 24. This happened some time ago when we had quasi-democratic leaders at the helm of affairs. But after 20 years or more of political experimentation, it is expected that Nigerians would have mastered you know, the practices of democracy. As a result of that, this kind of brigandage will not take place. But this is what is happening in Edo State. My fear is that, as it stands now, because of the level of violence, a lot of people find it very, very unsafe to stab their feet on the soil of Benin City, the capital of Edo State. A situation where members elect are freely attacked by thugs led by state security you know, organization under the leadership of the CSO of the governor of that state. This is very worrisome and it is a thing that we should not handle with kid gloves. If it happens to one, it can happen to everyone. On the strength of that, Mr. Speaker, I want to support the motion as moved by the great Professor Inhobere and also supported by uh, uh, Johnson. And I'm sure we'll be supported by everybody in this place. I support the motion and I urge my colleagues to unanimously support this and bail my state out of this crisis and help my people out of this crisis that is almost consuming my people. Thank you very much.